Today, we're gonna to show you how to clean the dirtiest, nastiest Instapot with little or no scrubbing. Mm. Oh. Hi, clean freaks and germaphobes and everyone in between. I'm Janet and I'm a clean freak. I like things sparkly clean. And this is Diana. Normally she's the germaphobe, but today she's the burn queen because she has so much experience burning things in the kitchen. Diana, how did you get to be an expert in cleaning burn pots? Well, there's a certain criteria that you need to have to burn things a lot. First, you need to have to cook dinner for your kids often. Second, you need to be a multitasker. And third, you need to constantly be in a hurry. With that combination, you are sure to have burnt pots every time. I have burnt so many pots, I have become an expert on how to clean. So in our test kitchen, we burned spaghetti, still cut oats, rice, and burnt milk, all to be able to show you the very best ways to get your Instapot clean. If you're new here, we like to show you how to clean, tidy, and organize. We like to test and find the best and fastest methods to make your life easier. So subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Here we wanted to show you just how hard it is to scrape out a burnt mess from the bottom of an Instapot. We tested Barkeeper's Friend, baking soda, soaking a wet dryer sheet overnight, none of them worked nearly as well as the technique that we are gonna show you right now. The company claims that you can use the Instant Pot for over 100,000 uses, but that doesn't mean it will stay clean for that long. This is the number one best way. It's gonna get it out. You wanna cover the stain with water. So fill the pot up as high as it takes to cover all of the burnt area. Put it in your Instant Pot and add one cup of vinegar. This is very important. Then what you wanna do is press the saute button. I let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then I take my spatula and I can just scrape the bottom of the pan and pull the food away really easily. And if it doesn't get every little bit out, just pour out the dirty water and start the process again. Now the hard part is just getting out the little tiny bits that are still stuck on. And I'm using Barkeeper's Friend for that. Now that is looking beautiful. This is the inside burner. A lot of people don't think about cleaning it, but it really gets pretty dirty. We found that Barkeeper's Friend definitely was the best way to clean the burner fast and easy. And for the last part on the outside, I use Barkeeper's Friend on a scrubby. Be really careful not to get water inside of the electronics piece. Just gently clean that, and then you're gonna have to rinse it with water. And then last, I have my favorite microfiber cloth. It's really important to dry it. It gets these rainbow kind of scale looking things and it just doesn't look as good if you don't actually dry it when you're done. That goes for the inner pot too. Look at that shine. Do the same thing for insides of the pot. You can take these both out and clean them. I'm not gonna do that today. Rinse it out. Then the same for the top. Make sure you get in these little creases. If you need to, get an old toothbrush with Barkeeper's Friend. And then don't forget the last step once again, and that is to dry and shine with a microfiber cloth. As I'm drying, I make sure I didn't miss anything and just go over everything one more time. There you go. And now for what I call the Instant Pot gutter. Food gets caught in here and you can't submerge it in water. So I like to use a cleaning, a toothbrush that's set aside just for cleaning with a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend on it. Last, I just use a knife to go around the ring, make sure I get everything and rinse off the Barkeeper's Friend. Cause I'm a clean freak and it's gotta be perfect. And if there are any little film of food left, this is my tip to get that off and shine your Instant Pot. Olive oil. Oh, this is exciting. Pour some in a fold it on a folded paper towel. Even if you feel like you've got everything, when you're putting the olive oil on, you might notice little pieces that are left. This will get out any fingerprints, any last things, and it just makes it super shiny. totally worth it to test all those methods to find something that made our Instant Pots look this good. I hope you enjoyed our tips. 
Let us know in the comments what works for you. Our next video will be about how to clean your small kitchen appliances. If you need some motivation and you have some dirty appliances, make sure to catch us in the next video.